Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Mushroom Computer Services. What we got here is a Dell XPS 13 inch touch laptop. It is a <clears throat> P103G uh, model, um, 2019 brand new laptop. And uh, I just wanna go over it with you. So this particular one has uh, 512 megabyte hard drive and 32 gigabytes of RAM. A <clears throat> lesser model is $1,899, so quite an expensive laptop. Uh, what I like about it is just that it's small. What I don't like about it is everything else. Uh, this is basically Dell is learning from Apple as well as everybody else to make computers that cannot be repaired. This one is not repairable. <clears throat> there is not much you can do with it other than basically use it until it dies and then get a different one. So first what we're going to do is uh, take the back off. Um, I have it disassembled and I'll show you how the back comes off. Uh, to take the back off, you need to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, hex screws. The size on that, if somebody wants to know, is T5. So T5 hex screws, just pull them out. There's nothing to it. Then you need to use a case opener and you open it um, from the side, front, and another side. You do not do anything on the back. Once you have that opened, you have to carefully pry it because there is a small lock over here that engages with the other side. What we see on the inside is basically a gigantic battery. Compared to Apple, this is much better. Uh, you just remove a couple of screws and the battery does come out. There is no glue to hold it down. So classic Dell repairable technology, but this is the only technology or the only part that really can be repaired on here. Come on. So battery is really easy to remove. Under the battery, we have the touchpad. Um, the mechanism on the touchpad is plastic. Uh, I do know that these flat batteries can swell up and by swelling it'll push on a touchpad and uh, in one of the computers it well uh, damaged the plastic that uh, allows the springiness of the touchpad. Uh, this is not like Apple where they have the uh, taptic system. This is just a regular button over here and when you push on the touchpad the bat button uh, gets pushed. Uh, keyboard is replaceable, touchpad is replaceable, so the whole computer is made modular um, and is fixable. The only problem is, when I say they learned from Apple, is there is no hard drive, there is no memory. It's all on board. So motherboard is basically a unified um, hard drive, memory, processor, all in one unit. Uh, this presents a problem for recovery of data. I mean, this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. If you uh, store your files on here and you do not have cloud backup, you are basically screwed. <clears throat> I have not figured out or have not looked enough long enough to see if there is a way to interface with the hard drive, I do not see any interface uh, ports to jack in and get the data off. Um, so this basically is a one-way street. Um, uh, basically, it's a problem. So if you do not have a removable hard drive, there is no way to get the data off of this computer easily. And this is where this computer would be a showstopper for me personally. I would like to have uh, an ability to pull the hard drive out, back it up if I want to, deal with it on my own terms. Um, not so with this particular laptop. 
So, what do we have? What do we learn? Expensive, portable, probably lasts, uh, probably lasts a long time on a battery, but uh, is not, um, you know, the memory and hard drive are all in one. And when this computer is out of warranty, most likely you will not be able to find a uh, board for it. I don't know if these computers are coded uh, like Apple. So if your uh, display fails, would you be able to replace the display if it's uh, uh, coded into the uh, motherboard, which display, you know, things like that, like Apple does. I don't know yet. So we'll see that. In short, I'm not particularly happy which way the technology is uh, heading. Um, now, I have tried to take the top off. It is not easy and um, I do not see any bulges or anything where I would assume, oh, the hard drive is in there. Uh, this is actually part of the cooling system, so the, everything that's under there is uh, connected to the radiator that is ran by two fans. If your fans go bad, they're under the radiator, so I'm assuming the whole motherboard has to come off. Now, it's not a nightmare to pull this out. Uh, it's not that many screws, but just uh, remove, uh, replacing the fans is going to be uh, basically a task to do. Uh, it is all... You know, uh, this this uh, unified construction and everything is carrying um, some kind of chassis on it. All right. Hopefully this answers some questions for somebody where uh, if you are trying to make a decision to get this particular Dell um, XPS 13. Nice computer, no questions, but so as many others. Uh, portability, I mean, uh, Ability to take it apart, ability to replace components is not here. And primarily I'd be looking for the hard drive to be a separate component. That is very important for me right now. But this is not where technology is heading. Everything is heading to be unified into uh, one board. So you don't have any extra costs on adding um, connectors, adding ports, adding anything. Um, okay, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, enjoy, and save money.